Okay, here's the tutorial in Sony Vegas Pro and the Windows Media Files. So if you have on the timeline a Windows Media File or more Windows Media Files and you make a lot of cuts in that video like I just did here and if you add even crossfades just like this so one video is crossfaded with another and you want to start a playback just hit the play button then what is these lines here, not lines, these dots and the video is not moving at all so that means that the frame rate of these videos will be very very poor and that's because the high compression of the Windows Media File WMV and to solve this problem you can do a trick simply go to render and at AVI use a codec for example a lossless video codec so let's customize a template and use the same settings as the video used so I will use 25 frames per second progressive and here at video format choose lagger it lossless codec so that's a lossless video codec that has to be installed separately it's not coming with uh, Sony Vegas itself but render the video in this mode I already rendered mine and then open a new project okay here's my video that I rendered uh, using Lagerit lossless video codec and notice that this time it has no cuts because it's one single file but the difference is that if I press S on the keyboard to split the video in a few places okay and if I even cross fade them and then try to play it then here no dots will appear and the frame rate will be pretty high so let's preview that one notice that there are no dots appearing let's go a little bit forward and here at the crossfade the frame rate is pretty high so it's not skipping at all okay and I'm using let's see here at task manager I'm using a 6 core Phenom processor and if I'm using the Windows Media file then the processor is used at around 30% and it's still skipping and using this codec Lagerit the processor is used around 70% but at least the video is at a much higher frame rate. Okay, that's it for this tip. Thanks for watching and bye bye.